back, but unless OBS froze, it didn't. Did it? Nice. Did do? <laughs> we did it, and now we're good. For sorry, it, it was a long transition, but anyways, uh, another week of Mario Kart, hooray! So, Nintunist, Kooky Kooks, Small Atheist, Swim Josh. That's what we got going on. Uh, and they did just start. Obviously, I think this is like everybody's first race, so they're just finishing. Because because mm. I'm not on time. Mm. But I do see all of your favorites, and I see full lobbies and everything, so that's a good day. I don't know how many entrants that means, but it means enough for at least two queues. Or at least one, anyways. In case you're wondering, that that's that's 12. Mm-hmm. Let's see, are these the same lobbies? Uh, no, they... Oh, wait. I see Glenn in all of them. So I think everybody is in the same lobby right now. That's actually good. I prefer. Is it good? It's good. I think you might be lying, bro. It's it's really good. Bro. Dude, that means a moral atheist and, and swim Josh and Intunis and Kooky Coogs are all in the same race. So we get to see four perspectives of one race instead of the thing that always happens where people get split up and some people get uh, bots and stuff, but no bots. Full queue. Maybe let's, there's exactly twelve entrants. Let's go. Yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day. Uh, there are your streamers on the screen now, all labeled. So if you are looking for these guys, this is where you're going to find them all streaming on their Twitch. Uh, if I was a little better, I'd already have a bot set up for this, but I usually don't find out who is uh, streaming until like the day of. By the way, this is open to everyone. This is Mario Kart Tournament, the Glintendo Circuit. Uh, there is a tournament code to which I will show you guys momentarily. Uh, actually, I could do it right now. There it is on the top right hand side of your screen. Uh, you can enter that tournament code in the Mario Kart, and you are in the tournament basically. You just go to the online gameplay mode, uh, go to tournaments, and search by code. Use that code, you're in. Uh, but at the sooner you start, the better because you have exactly two hours to finish your race from start time. So you're already 10 minutes behind. And I would say these races probably take about an hour and a half because there's 24 of them, is, is the rule. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I have the names reversed, but Nintune is cooking it up on the right. Uh, Kooky Coogs on the left, two of our mostly, I mean, I would say the consistent streamers anyways. Mm -hmm. And Kooky Coogs is getting bopped a little bit, which is very unusual to see off the gate because he's kind of like the expert in, in the room. As oh, well. yeah, he's always, he's the one always doing the bopping. He's always doing the bopping. And Tuna says he's been bopping himself recently and is bopping right now. Rocking Metal Mario, the cart, real traditionalist. Mm hmm. Loves Mario. It's his favorite. Loves Mario. Big Mario fan. Who couldn't love Mario? Uh, there's people who don't. Don't mention them. You know what? I won't. I won't. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it looks like the tables are turning, though, at least for these guys' case. Uh, well, never mind. Now they're both sitting in kind of a rough position. So I'll zoom out and see how everything... It looks like everybody on stream is sort of uh, not doing great, except for Moral Atheist is in first. But you got Let's a, go. a tenth of 12. the most Moral Atheist. Dude, he's the most Moral Atheist, at least in this moment. <laughs> Making it happen. Uh, being shined on by whatever it is that people who don't believe anything believe in, but are moral. Because he's getting, he's getting all the good stuff. And this is lap three, so it's looking pretty good for your boy. Um, approaching the finish line, this is a, what's this, Grumble Volcano. is kind of a tricky stage because it breaks away as you're racing on it and it's stressful. But, oh my god, Bryce just swooped in. Did you see that? Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. I'm so tight if I'm more like this. Are they on the same uh, race? Yes. <laughs> wow. Bryce got first literally at the last second. Yo, right. dude, I'd be so upset. And Bryce more like this, he, he's, a, he's a good sport. Uh, you could find him. Um, hold on. One of these days, I'm going to be so good where I'll be in mid-sentence and I'll be describing a person and be like, here's his Twitch already on the screen, but I distracted you enough to put it on now. So, yeah, that is currently <laughs> second place in the last race. It looks like the queue is exactly the same as it was. So we're getting a nice little view of what's going on because all of our streamers are here there's definitely more cues but it works out that these four are in this one mm -hmm. it's good it doesn't always work like that look Nintendo's is showing us his phone 
Make sure to support these guys. Um, I'm going to get my screens arranged so I have to do less flapping around tags and more just, wow, look at that collision shirt. How old is that? And Tunis is a real OG, man. I haven't seen that collision logo since I didn't update my stream overlays for DNA for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. RJ was just like, yo, you going to update that? And I'm like, uh, yeah. You're like, uh. It's like, I, I, I will. And Someday. then I did. Yeah, I did. Someday happens. Dude, I hate math. I hate math. Uh, it's not. The, it's not so bad. It's all. It's all a process. What kind of math, though, specifically? Is it? Is it calculus? It's uh, accounting. Oh, accounting. At least that's like applied math. It's a what? Applied meaning like you can use it for something. You yeah, know that's I, true. Because like when you're learning things like calculus. It, it doesn't really like. Not that, not, not that you're not learning anything, but like you're just never really gonna use it in, in all actuality. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know what you will use in all actuality. Oh my God. Am I bad, that bad at math? Possibly. I mean, you are. You do make YouTube videos. I don't know what you'd be doing doing math, you know. But. But. But here you are oh. doing math. Really using the education books. And a good race between one and two, although Kugi does act really not much of a distance at all. This is hype. This is good. This this is literally what I'm looking for. So Kugi Kugs and Intunists. Closing in on the final lap, although depending on whose stream you're watching, they're already on the final lap. I will remind everyone that there is no spectator mode in Mario Kart, so what we're doing is screen sharing. Um, and that is really the only real possibility is people streaming their stuff and then us putting it together, which might be an idea coming to Smash soon. I did pitch the idea and it got positive reaction, so we'll see if players do or don't like it. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just doing some homework. No, nah, man, do the homework. I appreciate you hanging. If you need the drop call because I'm because I'm yammering too much, feel free. No, no, no. I appreciate you being here. It makes this easier. All right, the type. I'm less like, wow, I want to just quit. I, want, I just want to quit. That's kind of hype. I'll, I'll take that dynamic, the very realisticness of like streaming. Oh, dude, what happened to Kugi? I've been talking about this. Meanwhile, Kunio's getting first. Kugi dropped oh, the 10th. Kugi is, the two is in that's fifth. That's the worst I've ever seen him do. Dude, Kugi's having not the best day. and Maybe he's not bopping. I will say I hate to see it. Uh, he was mostly dominating all these streams all the time. And Not the past, to see. yeah, really, man. Gooey Coog is one of the good guys. Uh, last week, though, I think during the teams, he wasn't having the best week either. And this one, but it's all right. Uh, it does appear as though. Oh wait, more like this. Is he in the same one? Because this is definitely all the one Q still, which is which is the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Except for oh no, more like this in his own Q. I think he dropped out for a second. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's the tricky part, like checking results. So then if you check results and the queue already starts, then it's like, that's that's it. Yeah, for real, bro. I can drink to that, bro. <laughs> cute Biddy picture. <laughs> cute Biddy. Do you think, do you think Biddy, do you agree with Biddy being the most humble smasher? Uh, probably. Probably, I agree. He's very humble. He's just like, what's up, guys? Biddy here. He's just trying to play games. Also, uh, Tornado Alley, if you're looking to join, uh, I don't have commands set up because, I'm going to be honest with you, I just haven't really looked into setting up all of them or which ones people use for Mario Kart. Uh, the tournament code for this tournament, you are welcome to join. It's free. Uh, you can join right now. Use that tournament code on the top right, and it'll put you in all the rooms you need. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm... Sharing the streams of other people who are in this tournament, so that way we get a little bit of a viewpoint of everyone doing their thing. Um, and then that is the best we could do for basically following the races. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, use that code, you're in, and then um, you have until 9 p.m. Eastern time to finish your race. Is And there's 24 of them, so it's going to take you like an hour and a half if I had to guess. 
But if uh, you want any first-hand or uh, accounts on how the tournament is or the stream is, or you want to interact with the streamers who are currently streaming, you could find their ads on the screen. Uh, check them out. Go talk with them. They're all good people. They're from a lot of the Smash tournaments we host. And they also have a really like lit Mario Kart server. And this is one of the tournaments that goes on there. But I'll look into the exclamation point switch, though, in terms of like mm -hmm. what it should say. I actually don't even think there is like a standard for Mario Kart streams because at least like tournaments because they just like don't exist. Dude, honestly? Yes. School makes me feel dumb. Yeah, well, I feel like it's slightly designed that way. It's literally designed that I way. I think, man. yeah, I think the public education system is designed to make you feel kind of dumb. That's how they get you, you know? Because they're like, you need to be here, bro. You, you can't even think straight. Dude, okay. Uh, I gotta say, yes. I gotta, I, I will specifically name. Let me make sure I'm talking at the right place first. I'll be waiting. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Uh, in middle school or maybe high school, I don't remember which one. Uh, my parents wanted to get me tutoring, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we, we looked into a place called Huntington Learning Center. I'm sure you heard of it. Yes, and I have. We were, uh, what they do is like, you're like, you're like, all right, we'll, we'll go with you. We'll do, we'll do the thing at the, the center, at your center. And they're like, all right, great. And they give... They, you drop off your child, and they give your child a test. So I was given a test, right? It was a test with incredible time limits, like, like actually bullshit. Oh, and the, like, it was designed for you to purposely fail. It was like, all right, you have. 45 minutes to do this entire thing and then the first few pages were like draw this exact shape over the lines oh. and then like obviously i didn't finish that fucking packet and by the time like by the time you're rushing it looks awful so like and then and then at the next part like um was writing right yeah and on the writing part it's like Gerald was on a subway. They see trees. What does this mean? And then like a list of like abstract shit and like <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna get the wrong fucking answer because there's no like there is no answer. It's literally designed to be fucking bullshit. So what happened was uh, My parents like went back like for the for the some like for like what they the, like after they process the information right mm -hmm. they my parents went back and they they were like oh he needs he needs so much he needs writing he oh needs God. Uh, learning he needs math he needs all these things like going on and on about like some expensive ass bullshit oh like God. fucking yeah that's oh my god it's a you business can only dude how much that shit would cost it's a business and then, my my dad was like looking at the fucking papers like Walders because they have it there but like parents usually aren't supposed to like actually look at it but my dad was looking at it and he was like he didn't say anything he was just like like he was like this is fucking bullshit and like <laughs> he's like all right bye right. and they left and never came back <laughs> yeah that's it's all it's all by design public it's education like, it's stuff. like holy shit that is the most bullshit fucking thing in the world that is an incredible scam never yep. like if you ever grow up and like have children anyone watching never take your fucking kids to huntington yeah it's it's a lot of the private stuff is outright in some sense college still gets away with it because the education is supposed to carry weight but it honestly carries less and less weight especially the more we sit in quarantine because people will find out that you can now learn that same system if not a more custom one just on your own on, on the internet 
Exactly. Instead of like paying lots of money, because you used to pay for just the actual space. Like the university would spend however much on tuition dollars, like how much per this is such a rant, but how much per to like uh, like uh, upkeeping the campus, like whether it be landscaping or the cafeteria. So it'd be like whatever, yeah. however many cents per dollar goes towards the university. But now that's not a thing. Like if we're learning remotely. So it, you know, but so it's harder to justify those costs, and all you could do is Maybe take everything them. being online is just like optimal, and like we're gonna see a revolution. Yeah, well, like, we're gonna be like this. You were gonna be like, wait, actually, this is bullshit. I think Fuck it's, you. I think it's possible, but uh, back, back to Mario Kart real quick. We we have another streamer. I don't know if you know who Dilly Diamond is, but we got him. I don't. I don't know who he is either, but, but, but we got him. Um, we got him, guys. Yeah, it's it's a good thing. Yeah, so say, say hello to Dilly. Hello. Hello, Dilly Diamond. Looks like he is in Intunus and Glenn's room. I don't know who else is in that room, but that's a tough room. That's a tough room, guys. You might want to look out. It's Dilly Diamond in the chat. Yo, it's Dilly He's Diamond. there. Let me... F oh, no, he's looking. I better put his, his, his info... Let's see, this is the one I'm on. Oh. Yo, I'm kind of bopping this homework right now. Let's go. Uh, Let's bop oh. it. Bop it, Dilly Diamonds. You're just focus on the stream right now. Bop it. Those, Twist it. And, and you're in it. Glenn's room, and Nintunus is also on, so I'll probably pan to you, Nintunus, in a second. I'm trying to see what everyone else is doing. It looks like another Grumble Volcano run uh, for... Kugi and Moral Atheists and Swim Josh. Okay, yeah, they're all they're all in Grumble Volcano, so we can get back to that right now. We're on this whatever this like ribbon track is. I always forget the name sometimes. Grumble Grumble Down, y'all. <laughs> grumble Down now, y'all. <laughs> uh, Alright, so yeah, Nintinus is always a, a popular pick for for your ribbon runs. I feel like he's done good on this race in the past. And oh my god, is Lemonty streaming too? Yo, it's lit, dude. Holy Yo, crap. Yo, there are so many streamers. So many streamers. Warms my heart. This is literally what's supposed to happen. So while I talk about that, uh, here's Dilly and here's Nintunis. And I can probably get Lemonty in the shot too. Just give me a moment to get my bearings because I've gotten so used to just dealing with like two, three streams that I forgot that people actually might be trying to do this. But meanwhile, Dilly kind of killing it in first place with the DK. Um, That's kind of bopping. Yeah, I don't know if Bryce is... I don't think Bryce is in this room. He might be in the Grumble Volcano room, uh, which I will flash to right now real quick since these guys are only on the second lap. Uh, Grumble is on... Well, Kugi's on the third. Oh, no. Uh, all right. So he basically saw the blue shell coming anyways and just sort of dove off and not really losing that much space. That might be optimal, actually. I don't know. To just, like, fall, like, fall off, let it hit you, and then you're already recovering with... with, with Lakita. Uh, yeah, he's got a sweat. He does have Bryce's brother blazing he uh, right ahead of him in first. Black Mamba with a strong number two. Uh, you know, Black Mamba through Smash also. It doesn't look like Kugi could get a free shot at Black Mamba until just now. He waited for him to use his red shell. Chasing down Blaze. Not going to get him. Does have a blue shell and makes it before it hurts. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Kind of yeah, let's go back to Ribbon Road. Let's uh, go back to the future. Well, I I don't know what just happened with Dilly. I don't know if that was like BM or something, but it was kind of hype. So, anyways, there's Dilly coming in third, and Tunis in fourth. Bryce was in that queue, getting second. The Becker brothers almost sweeping. Love to see it. Alright, this song's been on for a long time. Oh. Um, oh, he's got Joy-Con Drift? Dude, that sounds so Elu. difficult. Add Elu. Oh, is Elu streaming? Yes, he's waiting! Yes! Alright, well, look like, look at that. Don't we got... pop off. You aren't allowed. I'm sorry. I, sh I, I should act like I've been there. You aren't allowed to pop off. I'm sorry. Dude, Joy-Con Drift sounds like a nightmare. I don't know. That, that must be difficult. I think I remember trying. That's why I stopped playing Mario Kart Wii's because I thought that was the way we we're supposed to play because of the motion controls and new system. So you want to like respect it. So I tried you're it and I was just like, I hate this game. You're an idiot. 
Oh, oh okay, yeah. You lost the comedy. I thought you meant he was Yes, playing. that's what I was telling you! Oh, well then, I didn't realize. Look, look, he, he's in. He's in. Oh my god. I didn't realize. I thought you said he was racing. No, I said Elu. Hi, Elu. I said add Elu. He's added. He's added, yeah. bro. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're talking about how Huntington Learning Center ripped me off. Uh, what did they do? They... Um, it's all, it's like, basically, I'll just give the TLDR. Uh, when I was a kid, my parents wanted me to get tutoring. Uh, we went there, and it turns out that, like, they give, they send the parents home and, like, just have the kids take a test. And the test is literally fucking designed to be absolutely Im impossibly bullshit like with a stupid time limit and abstract like ideas that make no sense and then like when they invite the parents back they they're like he did bad on the test and like list off a long ass list of things that are like ridiculously fucking expensive that like that are like your your son needs this and they tried doing that to my parents and my dad was fucking furious like Furiously talking to me about how fucking pissed he was because he was looking at the test because it was literally fucking possible and he knew it. Oh, uh, I heard me telling you telling this story. Yeah. <laughs> and Tuna getting a W. Let's go. Yeah, that dude. And Tuna is he's been very consistent. Uh, battle and I feel like he's in Glenn's queue a lot as well. Um, Glenn T was also in that race. So I didn't see what he finished at. So finished at uh, I believe six there. Okay, yeah, because uh, I just realized he just started streaming, so we got him involved. This is hype, because we got, like, six streamers today, so it's, like, getting more active. That's good. I don't That's know if you good. saw it before. Oh, oh. messes up. Yeah, Kugi's been having not as clean of a day as we're used to seeing him. And I feel like the meta's increasing, because people are just seem to be grinding enough where everyone's getting really good. It's so, like, Kugi's still amazing, but I feel like if he gets screwed up, other people are, like, able to capitalize a little more. Speaking of Kugi, let me get him Oof. focused. Yeah, Kugi's in a, a rough spot right now. Yeah, I'm going to close in on him and swim Josh because that's what we got going on. Yo, I'm probably going to get a B in this class. Bs are good. Okay, let's see. Oh, man, looks like swim Josh fell. I got the spoiler alert before from uh, Kugi's screen. Kugi coming in fourth. Blaze now, I think, finishing with two first place, or is that a second for him? Regardless, probably pretty good point totals for him at the moment. Uh, okay, yeah, it was a second place, but uh, Victini? Question mark? Coming in first, and I believe I've seen him come in first before, and he does look to be one of the leaders in points sitting at 85, um, which is a, a pretty good total there, but... Looks like, where are those guys on Hyrule Castle? Uh, yeah. Hyrule Circuit. Or Hyrule Circuit. Yep. Yeah, that's a kind of a fan favorite. And both the, this is good. So fighting it out for first, this is kind of what we were getting earlier. We're getting all kinds of good I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, this is Nintunus and Lemon Tea. I will focus in on them momentarily. As soon as I figure it out, I figured it out. Nice. Yeah, both these two neck and neck right now. Um, looks like Lemon T's team is slightly ahead, but they're both kind of trading spots there. Yeah, we'll see. This is, uh, I feel like the story of Nintunist is, I, he doesn't usually blow people out of the water for first, but it's always like a close, like, you know, neck and neck where he's in the lead for most of the race with someone else who is, might also win. Uh, you know, a little dissimilar from like Kugi, where sometimes he'll just get first and he's just like miles ahead. Uh, they still got one more lap to go, so we'll see where that lap brings them. I feel like all, all the carnage always comes out in the last lap. Of course. That's always how it goes, but we do have some more racing going on. We've got the other lobby just getting started with Kugi and Swim Josh. And whoever else may be in there, I'll have to do a little bit of hunting uh, in the other screens. But while we got these guys head to head, uh, I do want to focus because they're almost done. Um, this yeah, is lap. You can three. see that Lemon Tea goes for the shortcut there, but he doesn't have the cleanest execution, so he gets a little slowed down in the grass. And Tuna's able to take it despite taking the longer, longer path. 
Yeah, that's a that's a solid job job by Nantinus. He's been able to kind of close in these really close races recently, um, more so than I think I've ever really seen him do. I, I think it's all the the good passion for the streaming he's been feeling recently. He's uh, been enjoying the Mario Kart grind and the just doing some different stuff. And I have too. It's good to see like different things going on. Um, as I say that, Let me pan out. More Latheus now on the top left. Uh, I think. He might be in a queue of his own. Uh, yeah. It doesn't look like he's in with anyone else. Well, he's in with like other racers, like, a couple, but not like anyone on the streams. Because like I yeah, see no Liam, I saw Eo, and I saw someone else. So he has at least four people in that queue. Meanwhile, I do think Kugis might be full. It's Steezy right out ahead, and Luke right in front. And this, yeah, this is looking ugly. Kugi's shaking his head, man. He's getting hit by everything. Got bit by Piranha. Uh, I don't other stuff. He does have a star though. And he does know yeah, how to he, use it. This is gonna be a little rough, but he does still have a few items I can help him out here. Yeah, but... he's not in, the way the items get distributed in this game. He definitely has a chance. Look, there's Ooh, another star. Star is not gonna do too much here. Might be able to derail a couple people in his path, but not looking like a clean shot at anyone oh, and gets knocked off the course. Too. Meanwhile, Swim Josh not too far behind, although it does just get hit by Bullet Bill, so that is going to put him pretty far behind. You're going to get that last minute pass. Are able to somewhat salvage it, but yeah. definitely not the type of consistency where he's just seeing Kubiak. Wow, Moral Atheist, though, taking second in his race, and that was a very full queue, and it looks like we have someone from Italy, so that's freaking awesome. That's just, we're just reaching reaching our span here. Uh, that That is cool stuff, but let us let me see who else is racing. Um, Kugi's in home screen for a little for a minute. Uh, Lemon T. Uh, hold on. There is... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to narrow down to these guys. I would assume those guys are checking on their scores, which I'm going to do in a little bit. Um, because, as I explain in every stream, checking the scores for this tournament, especially when you're not in it, it sucks. Uh, you got to, like, refresh the entire game. Otherwise, the scores just stay cemented. So yeah, I will do that. very silly. I don't know why to do that. It doesn't make any sense, man. But it, it's, it's what we got to work with in the meantime. Uh, let me see what else. Looks like a lot of cues. Trying to see. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Okay. Yeah, we got some more cues coming up in a minute. I'm going to get a little bit of a different array. For now, we are watching Lemon T mostly. So I should just focus in on him for at least a little bit because we haven't really seen a ton of Lemon T today. And he's in second and got hit yeah. and then lightninged and is okay because it happened basically at the same time. But going to let that red shell rip. Same yeah, I, don't, I wonder if that red shell is going to even home in on Glenn just because of where he threw it. There's so many divergent paths. And yeah, it's, it's hard to chase anyone down with it. Yeah, it doesn't look like Glenn got hit by anything. Yeah, and this is the thing that Glenn's really good at too. This you could maybe shed some light on this, where like uh, Wario is—is is he like a fast character in terms of like—is that how the weights work? Like your just your top end speed's fast because when he pulls away, he pulls away. Yeah, well, he's on the heavier side, so he's a higher top speed. But Glenn, not Glenn. Yo, <laughs> oh, let's go, Lemon T. <laughs> Got the That's stream blessing. Double red shell right there. Then. Making Glenn go second. That was, and that was a one-on-one. -on -one. It looks like these guys got stuck in their own queue. That's still pretty hype, though. If you're Lemon T, you're definitely taking uh, taking that. Taking it to the bank because uh, a win on Glenn's still pretty good. I don't think he's having the best day today, but, you know, still wins a win. Uh, either way, it does look like Nintunis is going. I see Moral, Atheist, and Coo or no, Coogie's spectating Coogie's Rainbow Road. Spectating. So we do, get, we do get a view of Steezy, uh, who isn't streaming, so that's kind of fun. When the only time spectator mode works is when you're waiting for a match. I just don't get it. It's just not a thing. But Liam cook, do be kind of cooking. I do believe he has some good placings today already. Uh, he's sitting in first currently in what appears to be a, a possibly a full queue, at the very least uh, half full. And it looks like Swim Josh on the bottom right looking to get started with a mostly full queue, including Glenn, Swim, 
Luke, Shannon, Victini. So that's a pretty good room because Victini's been placing well. Yeah, Liam kind of just holding it down here. Yeah, he's uh, all done. He got got uh, got his win, took the points. He's going to have Kuki in his lobby next, though, so he's going to have to keep the, the good times rolling because Kuki, kind of nice. Although today, kind of struggling, but he's, he's, he's the guy. Looks like a tough placing for Moral Atheist. I looked a little bit too late, but Nintuna's also coming in sixth in his race. Um, meanwhile, Lemon is off and running. I want to see what other, if I can get another good viewpoint with him. Uh, it does look like I could get Swim Josh is also currently racing, and they are on the same track. Okay, great. Yeah, they're on a uh, Superbell Subway. These are your streamers. Again, if you're joining us and, and you're enjoying what you're seeing and think the multi-share is cool or the multi-screen is cool, you can find these guys with the uh, Twitch ads above. You just go right in there and cheer for them or, or tell them they're good or bad or whatever you want to say. Just say hi. Uh, this is really just a means of getting the tournament all in one place to show all the different viewpoints because Mario Kart, no spectator mode. I, I'll be saying that at least another five times tonight, but I just think it's important for anyone tuning in. But in either case... Lemity having a nice race. Swim Josh Ooh, getting a little Swim bit. Swim Josh getting caught on that. Yeah, man, he's getting mixed up. But the star, he's gonna take out the train. Into, into yeah, I feel like he's having a little bit of trouble controlling it, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it, ha it happens uh, for sure. But he's gonna try and stay in there. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like uh, we do have on the other screen, which I will flash here in a second, Moral Atheist. And Kugi Coogs in the same thing. It looks like Nintunas in his own room, possibly. I don't want to switch off of this yet because this is lap three. Yeah, these and two are holding it really close. Yeah. Will uh, Lemonty not able to yeah, finish this, here? This could be this another. Thing. Yeah, that's another big win for Victini. That's, I believe, the second or third first place I've seen from Victini uh, on the stream. And Swim Josh gonna have no choice but to oh my god, getting a couple last second placings ends up in four. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn helping him helping him out there. Yeah, definitely we t we take those. Uh, that's a tough position to be in, especially in, a, in an open tournament like this. You just have to like take the placings you get. But here's what's going on. Otherwise, uh, more Atheist and Kugi Coogs in the same queue on the left. Uh, you see Kugi with a character switch actually. He's playing. Uh... Oh yeah, check that out. Yeah, he's playing Morton. Yeah, that that is surprising uh, because you pretty much always see Rosalina, and maybe there's just something in the way the play is going for Kuki, where just the change in weight is a little good. Uh, is Rosa like at the top of the weight chart? Um, no, I don't believe so. Believe so. Also, this is interesting. He's also using a different card setup as well. He's using a Wild Wiggler instead of the Mr. Scooty. Yeah, so I'm totally different. Change. Wait, what happened? What? Is he bopping? Yeah, he's bopping. Heck yeah. Morning? This is a Hurt? double item box. It's not. Yeah, so Kugi, it does look like the change has worked out in his favor because he is did secure first place. Extremely race. far ahead. Yeah, very far ahead. Meanwhile, Moral Atheist looking to take over Black Mamba. Black Mamba going for the shortcut. Moral Atheist taking his own shortcut. And gonna and take that second. That corner really well. Yeah, that was that was actually a really good, really good play. Uh, Black Mamba probably a little bit tight, but you know, geez, oh, and he ends up in six. I don't know what happened back there. Didn't get to see it. Got passed by Steezy Rabbit, and I think that was Eo. And he says, "I got hit." Blue Shell. If you want to see yourself, uh, here is him saying that in chat. Hate to see it. Sorry to hear, it, Black Mamba. Such as the Mario Kart life, though. Just the Mario Kart. Mario Kart. And this is all right. Lemon. We got Lemon Tea with the triple shrooms. Let's see how he uses this. Yeah, I can't see what lap he's on, but I do think this is the middle of the race. I think I saw him start up not that long ago. All right, has a triple reds. The people in front of him shouldn't have any type of protection because uh, of lightning. So I don't know why he doesn't choose to throw it. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
Uh, but either way, now down the one red shell, make that no red shells. Looks like someone's on the hunt for him, and red shells protecting him, but does make a quick pass on Glenn, only to get hit again. Meanwhile, oh, no. Swim Josh is sitting in, in a pretty good Yeah, very cruise. unfortunate events that occurred there for him. Yeah, that looks mm -hmm. like it hurts. He does have a uh, bullet bill and a chance to sort of, uh, yeah, yep. He does miss a oh, shortcut. That, that could have been a nice little too. swing instead. Yeah, just use a bullet bill. At that point, there wasn't really too much to lose. He could have only gained some ground. Uh, bullet bill, the, the, the real MVP at the moment. And Swim Josh moving. He'd be swimming. Swimming his way to first. Yeah, and with only definitely that swimming. But yeah. whoever's in first place is extremely far ahead. Yeah, I, I, I think that might be Glenn because it is a Wario, and we were talking about how when Glenn gets away, he gets away. And I think that's that's the strategy I've been noticing of Glenn and his character pick. is. Oh, never mind. Glenn's right there? I don't know who that Wario is. That's not a Glenn Wario. I just assumed it was. Oh, oh no. Lemon T. Lemon T gets hit Coming by off the, the last hinges. second bomb. All right, so we'll see who finished first here. Oh, man. Slim Josh almost hanging on for fifth. Instead Poor gets Lemon seven. T. Uh, yeah, dude, oh, it's Victini. Victini. Yeah, Victini is a beast. Yeah, Victini making moves today uh, all over the place. Meanwhile, it looks like we got more Latheus and Kooky still in the same uh, queue. And Nintunist with Kunio for Lukaska. And I think there's Wait, several others. Them. Go for it. I'm eating chocolate. Is it good? It's peppermint bark. Oh, that, that is, is good. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's the good I have stuff. another announcement. Ready. I have gained two subscribers. Let's go. I am six away from 800. Uh, just realizing. <laughs> that's pretty. That's, that's exciting. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, so I saw Swim Josh. I have another announcement. Ready. I hate Chris. Dude, I hate you too. It's all good. But honestly. Moral Atheist is doing really well right now. Yeah, he's having a good day. This is uh, the few times we've seen him in the first. And he's been on the grind, dude. He's been playing a lot with everybody, as far as I can tell. He's been entering these things. I think he took a couple. Oh, off. what a what a lightning. Yeah, that dude, Atheist. that was actually worked out pretty well for him. And he knows it. He's grinning. He sees he he's getting it. first. Yeah. He... Oh, my. Oh, that was so close. Did you... Yeah, that, that was, was very close. Mav with a huge cheater. Yeah, dude. Nav, uh, also a, a big Mario Kart grinder. Uh, also a big Smash uh, grinder as well. But anyways, uh, not too late if you're watching this thing to join. You're going to be close on finishing your matches. Now is kind of the last call if you're trying to get all 24 races in. But, um, you know, it's it's possible. I usually say it takes about an hour and a half. So, uh, But either way, if you, if you clean up and you do well, you can still like hit the placings. And if not, just have some fun with the boys. Uh, meanwhile, back to Swim Josh and Lemon Tea. I don't believe anyone else is in this room, but I am going to take a quick look. Really good cut there with them true. Skate through the get the... Oh, there's Glantendo in that, in that room at least. Alright, does look like Dilly uh, Diamond's stream is back online, so we'll get some of that in a minute. He's in... Okay, more like this is in Spectator for Dilly's game. So All right, we'll get that in a little bit. This mushroom up here on this shortcut. Very good. So if you're going to want to hold on to that mushroom there, so you can use it for extra momentum. Is he just going to use it for the shortcut here? Yeah, this is the last lap. Uh, Victini still sitting in first. Lemon Tea... Second, going to need these points. We'll see if he's able to catch up. Does have some room to go before the finish line. Gets a little jump. Victini, though, on that shortcut. Ooh. That is probably going to do it for, for Victini, but we'll see. Lemon T does have a couple tricks up his sleeve, but not nah, enough to too get far. It. Too far away, um, but a good hustle. Sometimes, you just you know, nothing you can do about it. So, <laughs> God, you, you don't got to, like... I was popping! It. Dude, it's okay. Come on. Dude, I have an announcement. I think I got too much chocolate. <laughs> you should share it. I hope you'll be okay. I would if you were here. Yeah, that'd be nice. 
Alright, so I will get the labels up so everyone knows who everybody is, and there they are. Nintunist, top right, Dilly Di Diamond, bottom right. I think he's been having a little bit of stream issues, but it looks like he's all back up and running. He's going to get that shortcut, find himself in second place with another lap to go, and a red shell for the troubles of getting in second place. I don't know who's in Kugi's lobby other than... Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, looks like Mr. Mm -hmm. M in, in Kugi's lobby, because I did see Pikachu RTM. And there's Black Mamba again. All right, so yeah, that's looking like a tough lobby. Blue Shell's out. Going to allow a little bit of room for everyone to get in there. And I don't know who's in first, but oh my god. Okay, oh, it's in Maverick Hunter's in first. I see the white shy guy. I know that's the main. Yeah, it's definitely Maverick Hunter. Yeah, no one else using the white shy it guy. It looks like Kubi has been having quite a bit more issues this circuit so far. Ne nearly not, not nearly as dominant as previous circuits, but still not too far into it, only about one third through all the races, so let's see what these mushroom placements go for. Oh, was he gonna make it? Ah, oh, barely doesn't. Unfortunate. Yeah, sometimes it's just like that. And it does look like uh Dilly's a little bit frozen up again. When we figure out the when we figure out the stream stuff though, uh, in terms of connections, it'll be all good. Black Mamba, hang in there, man. I know, I know, sometimes it's, it's, it, sometimes it's just a rough day in Mario Kart land, you know? Like, sometimes the RNG is with you, sometimes it's really not. But if you're hanging in there in terms of, like, being close, then uh, there's something that you had with that. Because then you just know the next time maybe the RNG is on your side. Maybe. Or maybe it's not. Could be? Yeah. Anyways. Looks like everybody is just starting here. Um, They're just waiting to get started yeah, into a race. Yeah, Natunas is in a full queue. Or about the... I'm trying to see what's going on there. More like this about the star. Kugi about the star. And Lemon T got his own thing. So it looks like everybody's kind of splintered off just a little bit uh, this time around. I'll see if in case I'm missing something. So, Moral Atheist there in the top right, looking pretty well down there in second place on Neo Bowser. Yeah, Neo Bowser, um, I actually, I like Neo Bowser, I think it's a pretty good race, personally. But, uh, is there any big shortcuts on Neo Bowser, or is it pretty straightforward? Pretty straightforward, That's what I thought. from at least what I know. Yeah, because uh, that is a thing that... It really makes a lead either comfortable or not. Just sometimes it's like there's big shortcuts, and if your opponent knows that and is far behind and there are like kooky levels of good, they could capitalize on that kind of thing. Um, but, anyways, this race is still only lap two. Uh, I do see, let's see, Kooky's racing at the moment, and Tunis in Q with a Q of four. Uh, let me see who else might be racing. Oh, that red shell just went right past Lemon T. That was interesting. All right, looks like Swim Josh, or not Swim Josh, Dilly Diamond back online. So I'll get that. Is he definitely content here to hold the second place with that boom box? Are you going to see Kugi make this comeback on this third lap coming up uh i mean it's definitely within his realm he does do that kind of thing he knows the race but he does have blaze ahead of him who's been really blaze good all day very good. yeah and sinatra right in front uh with wario and mr m i do see him like kind of middle of the pack towards the top so on the grind i i, I don't know I, probably not to be taken lightly but uh in either case it does look like Kugi's starting to make the move if I had to guess, Blaze still ahead. I think he plays Donkey Kong, but I could be wrong. Gonna want to get out of the way of that blue show. And okay, he taking out Mav. Oh, perfect. What a good timing. Okay. Is he gonna be able to do it? Oh no! 
Oh, he does it! That he was does so it. hype! So close, right in front of the Yo. finish line, dude. Hi, Nathanos. How you doing, man? Uh, I got a pro controller, so I think I can enter next week Sunday. That's hype, dude. Uh, don't forget, awesome. every single Tuesday, too, uh, we also yeah, have teams. Team. So no reason to wait if, if, if you're feeling it. And this is the team's information. It's just a different tournament code. Um, yeah, feel free to jump in both. You don't have to join, but they'll be favorited if you just search by the code and put it online and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, Tuesdays is teams. And the cool part about teams is you still have the same thing where you're doing 24 races. But it's like you're fighting for a side versus needing to get all of your races in. Whereas like today, it's like you don't want to start late because you're not going to finish 24 races, at least at this point. But like teams, if you just want to like help out one of the teams, it takes the average team score. So teams are always fun. Uh, meanwhile, this is where we're at today. And currently we have, I believe, five people streaming, possibly six. I'm just not thinking, doing the math in my head. So we're going to get back to those guys in just a moment as I figure out who's where, doing what. Um, so we're not just looking at me flipping through screens. All right, so yeah, it looks like Lemon, or Nintunus, sorry, Nintunus is live, and Moral Atheist on different races, but they're both there. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I understand what you mean about average team score sucking, but, like, with the amount of people that join both, it actually does, like... It worked out last week, anyways, because uh, there were people joining in, and it was mostly even the whole time, so I don't know. There's there's ways in which it probably does or doesn't make sense, but that seems to be the latest way we tried, and people seemed happy with it until we figure out a better way, but that, that that's what's going on now. Total team score was kind of bad, too. Yeah, it was pretty bad, because whichever team had the number advantage always just won by landslide, so... Yeah, that's what was happening. Literally just that. So at least the average team score is a little bit more engaging. Whether it be better or not, probably. Whether it be good or not, I don't know. But it, it's it's the thing. Anyways. Uh... Yeah, so Nintuna is uh, pleading this case to us. And I am going to get him. Yeah, he's all up in the chat telling us the experience and that's what you like to see he does look like he oh he's got eddie murphy in his queue you know the good old eddie murphy i always recognize eddie infamous. murphy but he changed his tag last time but he definitely still looks like eddie murphy and it's looking like we're going to what's that mario mario Sp circuit yeah, circuit yeah that that looking like popular choice one of the many variations of mario <laughs> circuit yeah kogi in this queue as well yeah that'll be exciting he is gonna get started we'll see him on the bottom left and we will get an Intuna soon uh probably gonna swap i hate to swap off the, the of, of swim josh because he's actually been pretty solid today but he is sitting in 10th still has a lap to go so we'll check in on him in a second uh i will get an Intunist because he is racing against kugi i reckon so we'll see what that looks like there he is yeah, and these are two of, uh, you know, the regulars kind of putting in the work of these tournaments anyways. And Tunis actually been finishing pretty solid recently overall. Uh, after being accused of farming off the, the low-level CPUs, but I, I'd say he's mostly redeemed himself. And, and a Mario traditionalist using Metal Mario and a cart, so you'll love to see it. Um, meanwhile, uh, very close race between he and Koogie Kooks on Mario Circuit. You know, like, Kooky just knows these tiny optimizations here and here, there that just lets him get that slight edge. Just like this little cut that's going to come up yeah, in we'll, the next turn right here. Yeah, we'll watch him take that. Um, yep, he's going for it. Going right through those tires. No concern. And he gets it relatively clean. Doesn't get the mini turbo after, but it's all right. Yeah, that's a tough. It's tough to get the turbos with the grass, but there is a way on this particular level, and he knows it because Kugi is knocking out time trials of this game like no one's business. Yeah, and he and he had to switch back to the old traditional Rosalina setup. Definitely seems to have been experimenting with Morden, but. Yeah, he's back back to home, and it looked like it was a good switch for him because the, I believe he, oh no, getting oh, hung up on the tire, tired. and he's still got a strong enough lead where it's not going to hurt him. Meanwhile, Natuna's going to be looking for that third place, maybe, if he could if he could keep where he's at, and does secure fourth from the looks of it, nearly a third, but uh, just missing that. 
either way, you know, well played. Sometimes there's only so much you could do. And sometimes the RNG is on your side, sometimes it's not. But anyways. Yeah, Kugi is definitely going to need quite a few more first places to catch up, though. Looking a little shaky on his points total. I'm not sure if he started a little late, but... I think he's just had a couple of shaky placings, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's... From what I've seen, looks like it. Dilly, I'm not sure. It might be your internet connection if you're going in and out of streaming. It's probably not your PC, so I would just like do a speed test just to see like what your upload speed is and kind of get an idea from there, because that'll, that'll at least help you narrow down. Uh, but if it's an inconsistent connection and it shows like you have good upload but maybe cuts out, I would just I would just try those things because those are always like the the immediate troubleshoots. But that does suck. I hope you get it sorted, man. Meanwhile, Moral Atheist cooking it up here on a uh, on a uh, what's it Wario Matt or not Wario. Wario? Yeah, which is <laughs> a race under heavy speculation, man. Poor guy just got hit by everything, but does have a star just in time. Um, good place to have it. Definitely with this close corridor right here, there's so much stuff that can go wrong. Yeah, and this is a tough oh. race too because it's, <laughs> oh yeah, move out of the way of that bullet bill. You don't want to get hit by that, but. Yeah, that's kind of it. Do. You get vortexed on this race a little bit. Gets all the mushrooms. Just able to clutch at them. Yeah, clutches third. Clutch. A good finish there. Uh, only being passed by Glenn. Finally getting that first. Doing very well in the points, 141. And I missed what second place was there. But it was a name that I think is kind of new to today at the moment. But if you divert your attention, or move your attention rather, down to the bottom, you will see Kugi and Nintune just going at it again. Um, along with, I see Pepper, Steven. Steven, I believe that's Steven, what's it, MK Wii is his tag, or Wii MK. Uh, who's like really good at this game. Yeah, he's very good. Yeah, so in that queue, that's a, definitely looking like a tough race on Moo Moo Farms. And Kugi now pulling away, Nintune's getting slipped up and uh, this is this is letting Kugi play his game if he gets too far ahead, but now everyone is is small, so that's what happens, man. All right, so looks like lemon tea kind of hot right now. Kugi also in the same boat. I don't want to flip off of here because uh, th I have a feeling this is going to be a close one between Kugi and Nintunist because yeah, Nintunist getting day. some speed items to catch up. But unless he gets a big pull from his item box, I don't foresee. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, not happening. Uh, in fact, Ooh, might yeah, even fall further. Unfortunate red shell, but oh, Bryce also got hit there. I don't know what hit yeah, him. Yeah, I'm but... not sure what hit him. It looked like they both got hit by something. It was just like a whole mishmash of items. But Natunus is gonna hold on to it. Meanwhile, Bryce actually dropped in the fourth because the other Luigi for Lukaska coming in third, who's having a pretty good day. Steven with a brutal finish there, actually, just as we were singing the praises, but it happens. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is finally check the scores. So let's see here. Let's go to online play. Let's check our tournaments tab, and we got it favorited. Check out the standings, because now we got a little bit more of a story. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us how many races people have done, but you're still seeing Victini at the top, uh, kind of dominating at that. Uh, it's in at 175. A solid... Cunio doing quite well. Yeah, good good day for Cunio. Uh, Cunio's been entering these things somewhat religiously, and Eo having himself a good day, too. We've been seeing him a lot, but hasn't really cracked the rankings, but today looks like it might be his day. Nintunis holding in strong as usual. Blaze, uh, I believe, did he win? No, Bryce won one of these. I don't know if Blaze has won yet, but he's always in the discussion. Moral Atheist, having himself a good day. Glenn, always in his own top eight, doing the thing. Such a Chad. Uh, and then Kugi, fighting for top eight along with Dark uh, for Lukaska, also in the discussion. But yeah, Everyone pretty close together there. Yeah, and it does appear as though we have Lemon Tea, Kugi Kugs, and Nintunis all in the same queue, all on the screen right now, so this should be a good race. This is going to be oh very God, interesting to watch. Heart. It's going to be very interesting to watch Kugi here, because he definitely knows all the little shortcuts on this map. 
but they're pretty hard to execute. So we'll, we'll see what he does. Yeah, this is one of the trickier maps because there's just like a, there's a lot of room for error. Uh, it's like you can cut corners, but if you mess up on the cut corners, you're you're falling behind. Uh, meanwhile, those the little spinning t uh, gears of the clock towards the end can either help you or hurt you, as you saw in Lemonty's case, to get caught up on the one going the wrong way. But in Tunis, off to a very good start. Uh, Kugiku's not too far behind. Does have red shell in hand. We'll try to hit him. Probably see if the Tunis has anything on the hitch. Which he does, has a banana ready for defense, so gonna hang on to that red shell and see if he just catches him the old fashioned way. But is gonna drop the fourth. Yukasuka ahead, Yo ahead, two names that we saw in the top five today. Ooh. Yeah, that, that one hurts. Yeah, very unfortunate timing on that lightning. Not able to correct his turn there. Yeah, so we can actually we get the watch for Lukaska in the top right with uh, more Lathius providing us another B point. Shout out some more Lathias to stream these things on the regular, um, as well as the rest of the streamers we have here. These are all actual regulars, so... Shout outs to streamers. Let's go streamers. And shout out to the YouTube man. You subscribe. To his YouTube man. It sounded like you said Lutu man, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, okay. looking like Lemon Tea kind of dominant here. He does have a pretty sizable lead, and... Lemon Tea's in you mean, 7. You mean Nintunis? Oh, Nintunis. Oopsies, wrong. Oh my yeah, god. Nintunis is in 7. They're interchangeable to you. <laughs> they, look a little, they look alike. You see, there's Kugi, and then there's not Kugi. Ooh, Nintunis. You're not wrong about that, but Nintunis does take first place. Bryce second, Lukaska third. Dark fourth, Kugi fifth. Yo, Kugi kind of flopping A little tonight. bit flopping. The, Kugi has set the bar too high for himself, sadly. Yeah, he's like, oh no, I can't be bopping again. Yeah, That's how it feels when I upload a video, and it's my best one, and I'm like, oh no, now my next one has to be my best one. Yeah, dude, Kugi is just, he, he's too good to like, where it's like, it, it's hard to play up to the level of his own Kuginess. You gotta sweat. You gotta sweat. You gotta sweat. It's the only thing but you do. It <laughs> Is it too late? Like, why have this up? Like, is it too late to advertise someone to join? Uh, wait, to join the tournament? Yeah. Well, they can still join just to get races in. But, I mean, you're not going to finish your races. If you want to play some matches against some of our players, there's the tournament code. Well, it's true. Some people just want to play games. And you could totally eight, you could totally knock zero, over... Four, two, four, seven, nine, one, four, you seven. can totally impact the rankings, too. So if you're just trying to gun for someone, which is kind of messed up. Kind of yeah, messed up, bro. if you want to join and just decide... I. I you hate Nintunis. I'm literally only going to hit him. Yeah, you, then can, you can. You can literally this is the do that. Opportunity. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, you can literally do that. So um, that that that's That'd be what pretty the funny for. actually. It's possible. Is there anything you set your mind to? But Lemonty and Kugi, same Q. Nintunis looks like he dropped out. Maybe he was checking scores. I wasn't looking. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Swim Josh gonna find himself right back in. Uh, let's Bowser's go swim castle. Josh. Yeah, let's go swim Josh. That's what I'm saying, dude. Maybe he's the real Josh we all needed all along. Yeah, the, the, the Josh of our hearts. Drake and Josh. Drake and swim Josh. That doesn't have a ring to it. It kind of does, but uh, I am going to get Moral Atheist on so this, uh, stream Josh just because it looks like he is in the same race. He is. Okay, cool. Also, never mind. I think I, I think I read Nintunis. Nintunis. Yo, why is Kugi flopping? Sometimes you just have a rough day, dude. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why you race, day. right? That's why they play the game. Sometimes you're on, sometimes you're not. I guess so. That's why they play the game, dude. If you just knew who's gonna win every time, you wouldn't watch. It's like how MK Leo lost on Wi-Fi. Yeah, wow, I can't believe it. Is he washed, question mark? Just joking, he's not. Two different Is games. Is Poyo right? <laughs> Dude. Find out next time on Quarantine The entire series. community slamming on him is sad, but also funny. Yeah, it's... It, it, I, it's he, he definitely I, does I, it on purpose. I feel, like it, I feel like it always happens in every Poyo piece. Dude, he's, he's like, he does it on purpose. There's no way. I think just Wi-Fi and local in the Smash aspect are just diff they're different games. They are. Like the reactions and the, the way you do like burst options or pretty much anything you have is just different because 
like you, you don't have to be safe for certain things. You have to be safe for other things. So it's like covering your bases is just different. Did you see my uh, MK Leo defending Meister? No, I wish that wasn't a thing. But he was like, he was like, people are like, don't understand. We're not. Uh, Mexico is not a first world country. Oh, Matthew. We can't get Wi-Fi like that. I guess I understand that. I mean, he wasn't really defending him there. He was just saying that his facts. But he also like, well, was, like directly in reply to him. Yeah, but also when he was talking about Goblin, like he was like, my, he was telling Meister that you can't fucking blame Goblin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a uh... yo, Kugi, that was kind of comeback. Kugi getting the exact item pull that he needed in order to at least put him back into the race. Let's go RNG the video game. Uh, I don't see him in the call. The problem is I don't see him in any of the call things. So I can't put him in the call. Nintunis! Yep, here's Nintunis doing his thing on Rainbow Road. And Nintunis having a nice day, it would be nice to hear from him, because he's probably just going to talk about what a nice day he's having. And we could be like, you're right, man. Good races. And we'd be like, thanks. Thanks. I'd be like, yeah, dude, you got it. Thank you. Uh, so I'll see what everyone else is up to. Um... It's like, well, Atheist is in a queue. Kugi is about to get started. Uh, what else we got? Swim Josh in a queue. And so is Dilly. Bro. Yep. In Tunis? He's really bopping right now. Dude, he's been bopping. Oh, or is that going to be a flopping? Oh, no. He's still in the No, he's place. still. No. Oh, here oh, comes the red shell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a flop. Oh, he still has items. Dude, he's okay. he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Watch this. He's going to lose. It's that's Pepper. That's a scary boombox. Oh, no. That's terrifying. Oh, no. That's just well it. played by Pepper. No, Shannon. Yeah, Shannon he, uh, And he misses it. Box too. He's not gonna be able to yeah, well, he oh, will wait. get. Wow, oh. get second place back, and honestly, he might get. No, never mind. Very <laughs> convenient <laughs> bomb. All right, all right, Tunis. Like, sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, Pepper getting the big win. That was a small Q. It's all good. Uh, meanwhile, looks like Lemon T and Moral Atheist back at it again with the white vans. Uh, That's a damn Daniel reference. Yeah. I get that one. <laughs> you like, dude? I like Daniel. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. Seems like a nice guy, that Daniel. I'm Daniel. I'm here so you can say damn. What? A, that's a good thing for him to do. All right, let's 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 get these guys because this um, is lap two, baby. And Cunio also in this race in first, and also looks like having having himself a nice little day. Steezy. Honestly, kind of doing okay. Not bopping, but doing okay. Dude, Steezy does okay in these. Steezy, he's, he's a competitor in, in Mario Kart. That's turnout. a very low thing to say of him. He's a competitor. He's a competitor. He's a competitor. In he Mario do Kart the thing. today. He doesn't play the video game. Yeah, maybe, play. debatably, possibly, chance of maybe <laughs> playing a video game. I don't know. Maybe Steezy can come in the video game. Chances of playing a video plays. game is 60%. He'll get at least a placement in a race. Yeah, like he'll get some some kind of placement. Yeah. You know? Be like, might be might be first, but might be eleventh, maybe. All right, looks like Dilly's stream is running, so I'm gonna put it on for a second. Yo, looks like. It looks like. Okay. It does look like you're right. Dude, I agree. Work. What a great play by Moral Atheist. Dude, Moral Atheist be cooking. Uh, I'm going to get the scores reset so we're ready. Actually, I'm going to wait till after this race, but I am going to close out the game. Oh, God. Lemon T quit now. I don't know what happens. What happened? I don't know. Uh, oh, Kugi is messing up all of these shortcuts. Yeah. What? Oh. I think it's a mental oh. block. Did he rage quit? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I actually have no idea. <laughs> yeah, what happened? 
I'm a deep putting in Smash! Oh my god. Damn, you hate to see it. You hate to see Anyways, it. Anyways, uh, so he's... like, I'm gonna put, I'm done playing the stupid game. I'm going to the other stupid yeah, game. Yeah, I'm going to the other game. That's gonna make me rage. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Why is Victini so good? Moral Atheist dude, getting honestly, the hands. Dude, honestly, I don't They're know not who they are. Victini's. I don't know who Victini some, is. I feel like I've heard of Victini before, but I'm not sure where... Yo, Nintune is about to flop! Oh, oh, no. Oh, definitely no, no, been... is definitely not flopping side here. Bet, side bet he's not gonna get first. Uh, no. Oh, it's here. I'll side bet on you. Five, $500. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, I can't believe we won collective thousand dollars. Imagine right in that moment, a blue shell, like, spawn. I would be convinced. No! Let's go swim, Josh. Swim, Josh? Fifth place, though. Right. Swim, Josh. Swimming into fifth place. He's swimming his way in the fifth place, and oh god, I see Smash in the multi view. I need to get rid of it. Sometimes you just get kind of tight. Yeah, so I'll uh, go ahead and get to Moral Atheist since he's doing stuff. And no one else is doing stuff at the moment. I have an announcement. Yes. I am five subscribers away. Nice, that's nothing. I'd like to announce that I've officially had it. I'll be ending the stream in two seconds. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Gons has driven me crazy. I literally cannot stand him. And I would the like... fact that he's here with me pretty much is confirmation that I need to end the stream. Otherwise, I will actually I'd like go to... over to his house and kill him. I'd like to announce that I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... man. Bro. Right now, oh, Lemon T probably killing it on on the Fort sticks and smash, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely playing quick play harder than anyone else right now. Um, meanwhile, Nintunis, who is hoots. back to bopping? Yeah, I think all he needed was Lemon T to quit. <laughs> He's like, this strange aura has been lifted off me. I can finally compete as Rosalina in Mario Kart. <laughs> I'm very confused as to why that Rachel did not hit Koopy. I'm very confused as to why he got hit by the blue shell. Maybe if he played better, he wouldn't have gotten hit. But since he played bad, he got hit. Maybe people should get better at the game. Dude, I think getting better at the game is always good advice. Speaking of getting Yo, better at the game... Yo, three people on the stream are in first! Yeah, dude, this is... This is... Where are the try This is a blessed stream. Tryhard. This is good, yes. I believe in Dilly. Although he's got Victini in front, so that's, that's like a mountain to climb now. Although that's for third. I actually am not sure who's in first and second. They look pretty far ahead. Uh, it looks like it's an Antunis. Oh, it's Antunis is the first. Yeah, and Antunis is the first place in that race. Antunis. And, yeah, that Wario is Victini in second. So, we'll see what Dilly could do to keep himself in it. Oh, uh, no, Kugi. He's okay. A, he's on left blue shell it. coming in. Oh, God. Sweet. That is a blue shell. And it looks like there is a... Oh, wow. Oh, 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 that was an yeah. interesting strategy. I don't think I've ever seen that. Mm-hmm. He just, he was, Ooh, has to get back on the track here. Yeah, I don't know. It looked like a, a villager right behind him, so that could be like possibly Boosk or maybe just someone else entirely. Could even Boosk be a bot. Like, Man, I'm not on PR. Yeah, I'm gonna race. Uh, no, it's Boosk. Kree. Oh, it's Kree. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be this item pull is gonna be 100% Kree. Oh my god, dude! No! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, is he able to? Wow, dude, Look that is baller, it. and I think the he tripped him up too. I've ever seen. Dude, Kugi. He was. Any more off, he would have bumped Kugi or he back to bumping. Yo, meanwhile, <laughs> Dilly, Dilly also coming in on top over Victini and Swim and Nintunist. Nintunist looking like a favorite in this tournament because he does have quite a bit of a point uh, buffer. And I'm going to go ahead and check on the points now uh, as my game boots up. So um, let's check that out. Here's a nice black screen loading. Clean transition.
Alright, Oops, check that's wireless out. play. Yeah. Let's see where it stands here at 8.16 p.m. Yes. That's 45 minutes left. Another 45. A lot of these guys are probably going to finish before then. I think everyone started on time from what I could see, but yeah, there's Victini still doing the thing. And Tunist really looking to uh, break into that first place. Got his work cut out though, 10 point lead, but does have himself a nice little buffer against uh, Blaze and Cunio, sitting at a, a, a rocky third and fourth. Uh, Moral Atheist really not too far out of the question either. Nor is Yo, Eo. Yo, some bad news. I'm ready. I'm not ready. My phone is dead and I have no idea where it is. Oh, that is bad news for you. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, cry, probably. I'm not gonna cry. There's no use crying over spilled data. There's a little bit of a reason. But anyways, Nintunist, Swim Josh, both on ribbon, whatever that's called. What's the ribbon stage, Elu? Ribbon Road. Ribbon Road, yeah. It is Ribbon Road? Amazing. Yes, yeah, this is a Super Nintendo stage. Amazing. I actually like this map. I think it's a good one. Um, it sucks. You I like it. Yeah, the shortcut, the shortcut's not that hard to hit, uh, but doesn't look like Antunis is going to bypass entirely. And Swim Josh, as well, does have that second place. So I guess no reason to really press too hard. Look out for the big Bowser thingy. I never noticed how crazy detailed the background is in this stage. A lot of the backgrounds are like crazy. Yeah, there, this, game. this game is... I mean, it, it might be a port and all that, but at the least the rendering and everything is pretty strong. I mean, it's a port of, of a game that's already on an HD console. Yeah, you're right. So it's not that hard to really clean up. Mario Kart 8, just like in general, is already on the best. Out. That no! was so old. Unfortunate. Some Josh is going to take advantage. He's right behind in Tunist. He is neither going for a shortcut. I don't blame them. It's only lap two. You don't got to pull out all the uh, all the stops yet, especially when you're mini. Don't oh, never mind. Mind. Oh my God, he's a madman, dude. You see Bro, Swim Josh? They're not going anywhere. They're here to stay. Yo, Nintunis didn't. Mm, guess he hit by the Yeah, I'm gonna pan out the full view because I did see it looks like Bro, Swim Josh. Bro, Nintunis getting there. hit by the Wi-Fi banana. It's hit by that good old pyramid scheme. Unfortunate. See what kind of stops Nintunis gonna pull here. He... Yo, does the jump? Does the tube item boxes, does the landing, oh. and almost falls off the stage, but secures it, yeah. only to screw up the shortcut. Oh, now he goes for it. He, got, he gets it. Is he going to go for the second one? Up, he's going to have to go for the second one. It's going to be very big. It and seems that Nintunis might be good at the video game, he's but good. if he's going to pull this out, ah. he's like, not going to. Nah. I'm he is a Dude, that was close. He, he had some sloppy driving off the, off the ramp. Yeah, if he landed cleanly, he would have definitely been able to cut ahead of those two. Yeah, it's a shame we uh, are getting the frozen screens on uh, on Dilly on the wireless and, or the, his connection's not a little better because he was in that race too, and it did look like I think he got second or did he win that? But either way, pretty good. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna find what the active races are while I'm here. Uh, so. I Looks like Kugi is about to get going, so I can get him on screen in the meantime, and then figure it out from there. Kugi. Okay, nice. Dilly did win. Okay, I, w I was correct about that. Okay, so... Alright, Coog's pulling out this mushroom here. He's definitely gonna use it. Oh wow, he used it right there. Interesting choice. Let's him get ahead and get the double item block. Yo. Coog's <laughs> kinda of bopping. Yeah, he's, it looks like he's starting to get a little bit more comfortable again. Which is good. Yeah, Kumi does have pretty good front running here. And he's gonna hopefully get. Let's see. 
gets a gets a coin. But you do see this around there with I believe it looks like a boombox. So as long as Cootie's able to stick just slightly ahead of them, he won't have anything to worry about. Yeah, you can see Cootie looking back, trying to see what this runs up to. This is oh, that's a mushroom actually. Ooh, but that mushroom actually messing him up there. Yo, I have good news. What's up? I found an iPhone. Nice. Happy to hear oh, that. That, that Yo, lightning actually kind of helping out Kugi. Yeah, Kugi's doing really well. We'll see if Kugi's able to bring it out in the end. Or if we'll get lose by the end. <laughs> anything, truly anything can happen here. In, in, anything can happen. Anything. Only on the hub. <laughs> Bro, he's so close to winning. But let's see if some Mario Kart shenanigans happen at the end. But it looks like Koogie's gonna bring it home. First place for Koogie. Meanwhile, on the opposite hand stream, Ventunis in second on the third lap. I hate those clouds. We'll see how he does. <laughs> oh, but a blue shell. Oh my god, that was perfect for him. He passes it right by, and now he's in first place on the third lap. It looked like Mintunis might be able to bring it all home, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, meanwhile... Right now, he's so close to the end. He has a red shell. No one can compete with him. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Meanwhile, Glenn... <laughs> Glenn does take a first place in Dillion Swim. Yes. Uh, Liam yeah, coming sorry, in second in it's Okay, no problem. Comes in second uh, in the Tunis room. Uh, and yeah, we're getting closer and closer to solidified results because this is the point where everyone's starting to get all their races completed. Um, there we go. That's Dilly just finishing, I believe. A little bit behind. Okay, yeah. Sorry, right, so on the bottom right, Swim's room is pretty tough. Cunio, Blaze, Tekel, Eo, Pepper, Steven, and Dark. Um, it's definitely a strong room there. Yeah, it's a strong room. And it does look like Boosk is actually active because he's in Dilly's room on the bottom left. I just saw his name pop up, so that's good. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Liam, Galactic, Bryce, uh, Skinarsic. Taking over the Grumble Volcano, um, or yeah, I think it's whatever it is. Yeah, they got Kuni and Lily Diamond both here on the OG circuit. Yeah, these are uh, some of the heads heads we get to see here. There's Boost right out in front, as long as er, as well as David Lin. Um, not sure who's in first. It might be Glenn. It might be Victini. Those are the two Oreos we've seen most prominently, and it is Glenn confirmed. And Dilly getting the business a little bit with some of these items. Uh, people with the items floating around him getting crossed up. Uh, does fall to ninth. Kugi is fighting it out very close to both third and f uh, second place. He's definitely saving that mushroom for the big shortcut here that requires the mushroom. Yeah, meanwhile, yep, there's the mushroom. Gets it right ahead of David Lin. Red Shell on deck. Will be safe from anyone throwing anything at him as well as able to take over any passers. Uh, he will use it wisely, I'm sure of that. Meanwhile, if you look over at Tunist, doing quite well on Grumble Volcano. First place, very big lead. Swim Josh getting ready for the next match. Pretty full queue. Appears to be Kunio in there, Steven, uh, Mr. M, Blaze. Yeah, it could be in a very good spot to just front them right now. Oh, never mind. Wait, that's so weird. I, d uh, I just realized in chat, uh, Nick uh, Zonak was saying, he's like, the game on Wii U also had a weird AI render bug where playing with computers, the game would show a dupe frame uh, every 64 frames, which is so weird. Huh, that is pretty weird. I guess I just never noticed it. Yeah, me neither. Probably if it was 
probably if it was like pointed out to me, I'd probably like notice it, but in casual play, I guess I just never saw it. Yeah, same. Uh, but it does look like David Lynn was able to win that game over Glenn and Coogie coming in third. Luke in fourth, not a bad finish. Um, you know, like, and Nintunas finishing with his first. Yeah, Nintunas really keeping himself established from the rest of the pack. Uh, looking pretty good today. With that first, definitely looking good, especially ahead of Bryce. And uh, there was another name in there that was pretty solid. So we'll see where all these guys end up next. Um, see if uh, Swim Josh is active still so we could focus in on him. And ahead of Swim is Cuneo and Pepper sitting in ninth and eighth, uh, respectively, or eighth and ninth respectively. And kind of far ahead from first. Definitely got the work cut out in a good position to get items. Does have a mushroom on deck and has a gold mushroom waiting to just be oh. used and abused. It's and hit by a bomb in the air. That's uh, pretty surprising. Yeah, and he is in moral atheist room, so I could pan out to that. Uh, I just saw. So this is what we're looking at. Except for that's not Kooky Kooks. Go. Ed is slightly ahead there at fifth, but still fourth. Whoever is in first, pretty much holding it down. Yeah, and it, it can't figure out who's first yet on the map. It looks like Donkey Kong, so that could be Blaze. I believe actually that is who's the Donkey Kong in the room, but we'll wait for confirmation. Meanwhile, uh, Morlathius oh, getting Adidas tied gets up. On that pole. Yeah, that one hurts. That that definitely doesn't feel good. Uh, there's Steven he getting slowed get up. This room. But yeah, this is lap three. Minutes. Gonna have to. He does end up getting fifth. Not you know, considering where he was at. Not bad. Uh, swim, Josh coming just in front of him, and that was blazing first. So I did have that right. Uh, meanwhile, Cunio taking a very harsh seventh at a 225 point total. Now uh, the playing field is a little bit evened up. So I'm gonna have to sweat a little bit. Yeah, we're coming up here on. The final race is pretty much final like around eight races. Yeah, I think swim. That was his twenty-first race, so he's gonna be moving on twenty-second. So he has three more. I would assume Kugi and Nintunas can't be too far behind since they started on time. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next few races. But it does look like the results are mostly kind of spoken for to some end there's definitely a lot that can happen in the middle section but the top of it uh it did look like uh um victini is kind of dominant and tunis also fairly dominant himself but you know the becker brother is very much a threat to make any late game surges because guys are good um and tunis hold it down where he's at playing defensively against liam who's just getting ready to pass Knocks him off his tracks and might be enough to finish this race in first. He's getting pretty close to the finish line. He's looking pretty good. He just do he doesn't have any protection items, which is the scary part. Yeah, he might get one here. I'm Maybe. Probably going to get a coin, though. Yep, you, you were right about that. And here comes the blue shell comes just the at the exact wrong on time. The final turn. Is it going to matter? It is going to matter. There's Bryce. Just as I said, the Becker brothers, they're a terror. I don't know how they do it. But they Bryce really coming are. first, and Tunis is just like, dang it. Uh, Mav right behind Liam, Dilly, Galactic, Skinarsic, um, all putting in that work today. Does look like Dilly froze up again on the bottom left. So we'll figure. Hopefully, you get your your streaming stuff figured out soon, man. Definitely appreciate you streaming nonetheless. Uh, and what's this? Toad's Turnpike, or not? This is Toad's Turnpike, right? Or what, what's the driving one? I think it is. Anyways. Um, yeah, so as the other guys get queued up, this is what we have here. Both uh, plenty of time to catch up. Uh, Moral Atheists <coughs> and Swim Josh. Only in the middle of the pack. The whole lap <coughs> left to go, excuse me.
All right, so Moro making some moves, only behind Steven. And I don't know who else is ahead of him, but uh, making moves on him. That, that, that's, that's what I can tell you. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, just bonks into the bridge there. Yeah, so uh, we'll see if Moral could overcome. Oh, look out there, wow, Shannon. Wow, that was lots of stuff going on. Oh there. my god, Ooh. Messi getting past yeah. both. Oh, he's in the mosh pit now. Yeah, he's... not where you want to be in, in on lap number three. He needs a really good item pull here. Only a mushroom. Not really going to do too much. Yeah, hopefully... not, not enough. Um, and that gets passed. Oh. Okay. The very end, uh, ninth place. That one's gonna hurt. Meanwhile, Victini continuing the reign of terror with Mr. M. A couple good races in a row. May have started late. Maybe starting to surge. Has 143 points. Uh, and still another half hour left. So if that's just from not having enough races, you know, he might be able to make a little bit of a splash. Meanwhile, it looks like we got Mute City for Nintunist and for Dilly. Kukukus is making his way back to Ribbon Road. And I will see what I got for us on the bottom right in the meantime while we wait for Josh. Um, got someone hosting me. Yeah, I think this is. I think we're down the four streamers, and that's quite our. Oh no, here's more Atheist getting ready to go. And with him has Swim. Yeah, same same crew. So that's actually a cue to watch on the bottom right. Moral having a good day. Cunio having a good day, as well as a Victini. So all kinds of races, and it's Moral's final race. So that's going to be a good one for us to check out as soon as uh, Kuki finishes up Ribbon Road. Looking like a first place here. Possibly, I don't want to say anything too soon, but on the right track. Let's get his shortcuts at least. That's going to be. Oh, really someone good right on the trail. Oh, my lord. Oh, Hopefully and they, they did hold not on. have a mushroom. No, ran into Kuki's yeah. green shell uh, riding on the hitch. That's a big win for Kuki. He needed that. Definitely needed that. Meanwhile, Nintunist also looking for that win. Maverick Hunter ahead. Uh, Mav also towards the top of the rankings per usual. Um, yeah, Nintunist really doesn't have any really overtly offensive items here. We're mostly defensive. But I think he's content right now. Oh, oh no. no! What is that? Communication error! That is Oh, quite I'm so sad for him. His face says it all. Look, he's just looking. He was right at the end of the race. That was lap 3 of 3. And Tunis, I'm so sorry, man. That one, is, that that hurts. Yeah, he just he just loses his points there too. That's oh god, that is the worst, dude. That one doesn't sit well because he was actually kind of poised. Uh, hopefully that doesn't put him back too far. Or he gets to redo the race. I don't know how that works in this, but no, he he's just, at the top. He of the really just loses that race. He doesn't get any points for it. Oh god, that hurts. That's pretty yeah. shit. It's very big. Oh my god, my my heart breaks for him. Meanwhile. Uh, we got Swim Josh duking it out against. Ooh, okay, yeah, getting that. It, that was out. such a good use that like time for that board though. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, now find himself nearly at first place. Victini right ahead, and this was that cue we wanted to watch before that has like Cunio and Swim and, and yeah, it, it, this is a good room. So if Josh takes this, that's a good one. Definitely has big implications on the final scores. Uh, Victini. Being kind of far ahead, but obviously not getting first in a race is helpful, but got to hold himself there first. There's yeah, unfortunately that lightning happened right as Atheist got that double item, because just has no back to know. Well, he is making moves. Oh my god, those green shells just narrowly missing and throwing out everything he's got. Uh, Moral Atheist already taking second place, though. Spoiler alert on the left. And Victini, just too good. Uh, Cunio, another... Not great placing. Um, it is, dude, Nintunist. I'm so sorry, man. It was the last race for Nintunist, so that is actually pretty sad. That that that's sad stuff. That's a that's a definite F in the chat for Nintunist. We'll see how we finish though. Uh, meanwhile, it does look like Swim Josh and Moral aren't done yet. But while they get ready for their next race, I will get ready with the scores so we can check out what's going on. And then we'll get them. And I think that's their final race. Um, I will let you guys know momentarily when it pops up. Okay. We shall see. It's looking like everyone's finishing up here at least. Yeah, everyone's starting to get there. Um, let me see if I can get to the results before they start. Uh, it looks like we're on the Bone Dry Ruins. 
Half full Q, the same guys as before, Mr. N. Okay, yeah, this is the final race for yeah, Swing. Final race for Swing. And I'm assuming Moro waiting on his final race. Um, so while we do that, I am going to get Swim full here. Swim gets hit by that mana. Still pretty early on. You can actually get some rooms here from behind. Oh, Oof, it just keeps on getting hit. Yeah, it does look like uh, I'm looking at Natuna's screen now from, uh, I mean, you can't see it with your guys' view, but it does look like he's still hanging out in second place. Oh, <laughs> that is not a place you can cut through. Yeah, oh, oh no, that swim. hurts, that hurts. Oh, and the <laughs> insult hit by the ricocheted green shell. At least that lightning wasn't, like, too bad on him, but it's still not in a bad place. I feel like we've seen Swim in a position like this before. It does make the late game surges, and that's good. Uh, yeah, he's but, having a... Want to use this old goal? Uh, I don't know why he's really holding on to it, but I don't know what his plan is with this. I don't know. We could only wait and see, I guess. Um... Interesting choice there. Yeah. On one to use it. All right. So yeah, confirmation. Dilly on his last race. I'm gonna see if uh, the stream's up and running for that. And it looks like it is, so before he gets started, because he does have a pretty good room full of people, um, let's see what Swim Josh could do here on his last lap. He's getting pretty close. Yeah, definitely not going to catch up to first. Yeah, and I think but... that's Victini in first, and uh, was that is that Liam using? <gasps> oh, no. no, what is going on? Everybody is riddled with errors today. Ah, uh, no. He looks shocked. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what's what's been going on there. No. Well, everyone on their final race is getting these errors. Glintendo Circuit in shambles. Glintendo Circuit is being... <laughs> oh no, being... now Dilly's stream is frozen. It's all happening. This might be an abrupt finish that we have, because uh, it looks like everybody is in the mode where they're just checking out the results, so hey, I guess we might as well yeah. do the same, right? Um, let's see what the results are. So it does look like Victini in first, and no one catching that. Most people don't with the races. Yeah, Victini uh, though will not break it through to 300. So yeah, that's uh, that's the first time I think we've seen right. There's always been someone breaking 300 uh, the past few weeks. And yeah, definitely a very competitive circuit and very interesting placements all around. Yeah, that's Kuri... hype. Look at all those high point placers. Kuri was able to make that make it back. Probably. Surprising, because we saw so many races so where he just didn't finish well, uh, but still coming in fourth, and that's back to what you just said before, Elu, where it's like this has just been like a really close circuit, which is really hype. Yeah, Glenn able to make it into top eight. I saw him tweeting earlier that he wasn't sure he'd be able to make top eight, but looks like he's made it unless some stragglers make it in the last. 20 minutes yeah which is possible uh that's definitely possible i'm gonna assume he's probably done with his races uh i see moral atheist with a pretty good day cracking that top eight i hope he hangs on to it but you see bryce right on the heels in eighth place eo only a couple points off and the chances of 10th and 11th place catching up i don't know how many races they have left doesn't look quite as good because there's you know a whole another like 13 points behind but uh yeah really even stuff uh, cool to see everyone who came out. I don't know how many people we had. We'll see in the result graphic later on Twitter. But in the meantime, I think this is probably where we're leaving it, just because it looks like everybody who is streaming is now officially done. So this is the end result that we have. As always, keep it to Twitter. Um, you can find us at Masterhand Games. Uh, you can find Glenn's Twitter, where he posts the results, at Super Glentendo. Um, and that's where you find all the results. But in the meanwhile, um, let me take one more search. I see Dilly's still on his last race. Unfortunately, it is frozen now, so that's okay. Uh, it did look like he was placed... Where was Dilly? 
Dilly was in 14th. But yeah, good games, everyone. Definitely appreciate you all for coming out, streaming, having fun. This was a good one today. I'm going to flash yeah, back the results very, one more time. Nice yeah, because like, this is good. This is a good thing. This is even distribution of points. No one broke 300. A lot of high point placers. Uh, this is what I guess would you can consider competitive. I believe we saw someone from Italy earlier who had joined, so the reach is starting to grow. So I appreciate everyone who's been streaming and doing the thing. Uh, these have been a lot of fun. So with that, I think that's it for us. You got any any last words? No. Look, looking quite good. Don't forget to subscribe to yes. Mash Hand Gaming. You got that sub goal for the mhd minecraft server yeah it's true uh we are looking to make a master on gaming minecraft server we're at 22 subs 25 is when i unlock that currently doing a lot of other things with the channel uh or trying to do in terms of uh i'm gonna make a currency pretty soon i gotta figure out how to run that i'm gonna use the stream points for stuff but trying to get a lot more interactive so as you guys think of things or you like things you know don't be shy let me know uh, i want to do all the cool stuff that you kind of see go on uh, on, on other streams, I'm trying to just try to do different stuff. So, anyways, with that, that that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what we got. I will shout out Smash. We have Smash every single Thursday. Open to everybody now. So if you're not from the area or play Smash, just want to hang out for the night, look no further. This is every single Thursday night. Bracket starts at 7:30, um, and that's pretty much all I have left to pitch. Again, this has been the Glintendo Circuit. I'm Chris Lodian. I was joined by Elu. Greg Gonzalez had to go, uh, but he was here also. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on Thursday for Smash. Or actually, we'll see you on Tuesday on for Tuesday, Teams. Yeah, Tuesday. wait, but yeah, before I sign off, even more important, Teams every single Tuesday. Uh, a lot like this, but Teams. So don't be shy. Uh, we'll see you then. But yeah, have a, have a nice Sunday evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>